Previously on Sam and Max. Approaching beginning of the universe. Destruction imminent. Go, little buddy. It's now or never. Where do you think this portal goes? Anywhere that's not on a spaceship set to self-destruct and hurtling towards the beginning of the universe. All right, Sam. If this doesn't work, I'll see you in hell! Episode 5. Let's go. That thumbnail, though. Holy shit, that thumbnail. <laughs> What's new, Beelzebub? Be Beelzebub? Judgment Day is at hand, and it's time for a showdown with the guy downstairs to bargain for Bosco's soul, but in the corporate wasteland known as Hell, not even the freelance police are safe from eternal damnation. Can Sam and Max fight free from Satan's grasp, or have they reached the end of the line? <laughs> oh. Spaceship will self destruct in three, two, one. Spaceship destroyed. Oh. But I've still got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the mission. <laughs> Looks like we escaped that horrible explosion in the nick of time. You okay, Max? Hmm. I don't feel disintegrated. You? No more than usual. But it felt like landing on a boiled ham. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Featherly. I forgot you were in there. <laughs> the indignities I'm made to suffer! Why on earth have you brought me here? Do you recognize this place? Does no one study the classics anymore? Yeah, well, we're obviously in the eternal twilight at the banks of the River Styx. The land of the dead. <laughs> oh boy, all the coolest people are dead. <laughs> I should have brought my autograph book. Well, you've delivered Bosco to his final rest, so let's be off, shall we? Come on, we can't just leave Bosco here. Yeah, we should at least staple a note to him or something. <laughs> no, we're going to have to find Bosco's soul and get it back into his body. Uh. I knew the peace and quiet was too good to last. The river sticks is just in an underground subway. <laughs> Poor Bosco. The shock of seeing time-traveling mariachis was too much for his heart to take. Stress-induced heart attacks are the second most common cause of death for conspiracy freaks obsessed with alien abduction. What's the first? Unexplained organ removal. <laughs> Hello. Hey, what are you guys working on over there? You surface dwellers just wouldn't understand. Surface dwellers is actually one of the nicest things we've been called. <laughs> All those times on the Mariachi spaceship when you saw only one set of footprints? That was when I carried you. Oh, for heaven's sake! <laughs> Wait, is that like a... Is that a reference to, like, walking on the beach and seeing Jesus' footprints? Like, Jesus walks with me on the beach, is that what that... I don't know. Prepaid seance cards. Health food must be a lot cooler in hell. Garden delights, serving the finest vegans. <laughs> Those books always take you to the touristy, overpriced areas. Game cartridges. I heard rumors about a company burying millions of Mimesweeper cartridges, but I always thought that was in the desert. I bet the sandworms carried them here. I uh, like the buried, uh... E.T. Atari games. <laughs> Looks like the bottom dropped out of the Esperanto literature business. Hmm, maybe we should take a boat tour of the Phlegathon. Boat tour? The best way to see it is bobbing eternally just below the surface. <laughs> I'd take out more insurance, but Max won't give me his personal information for the beneficiary form. Being the victim of identity theft is the real hell, Sam. Hmm, Academy of Haunting. I wonder if we should enroll. Do not go gentle into those good night classes. <laughs> Another moment. Hey, pal, can you... Whoa-wee! Yours really knows how to fill out a suit. Well, I never. <laughs> that was a compliment. <laughs> hmm. What happened? Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. 
Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. This is where the gumball so machine So there's went. the gumball machine we've been missing. Oh, I wouldn't say we've been missing it. I missed it. <laughs> Some afterlife, huh? Is this what you expected from the afterlife, Max? Not at all. It's dark, it smells like sewage, and I'm only seeing two virgins. <laughs> I wonder if Bosco has a huge life insurance policy, or if he left us millions of dollars in his will. I doubt it. Who would be gullible enough to give Bosco that kind of money? No, oh, wait. <laughs> uh, we kept paying him a lot of money in the first game. Just think, Max. Miles of tunnels underneath the city, containing the Mole Men's magnificent civilization, unspoiled by man. You say magnificent civilization, I say tax dodge. Mind the gap, Max. I don't have to! The gap's not my real father! Can you can you stop freezing, please? I want to play the video game. Okay. <laughs> hey, Harry. Oh, cute, Max. It's a little goth mole man. Token. Token mole man. So now we're underrepresenting the mole man demographic. <laughs> I thought we were just insensitive to women and minorities. No, you need a token. You've ruined my big entrance. Wait. <laughs> Harry Molman? In a past life, yes. Now I am become deaf! What are you. Oh, no. <laughs> what it. Oh, what was that? What, what is that? <laughs> Alright, I'm back. I just. <laughs> I had to update my. I had to update my laptop. Everything was busted. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Didn't you hear me? I'm deaf! Wait, hang on. Ah, false alarm. Tumor was benign. How did you get to How be deaf? How did you get to be deaf? Hell's been on a big corporate efficiency kick lately. They're passing the savings on to me. They've been outsourcing the coolest jobs, and I underbid the last guy. <laughs> Where's Bosco's soul? Have you seen Bosco's soul lying around anywhere? Bosco. Hmm, Bosco. Is that his first or last name? We never asked. Or cared, really. <laughs> well, the last Soul Train came through about 30 minutes ago, so he's probably already in hell. We want to go to hell. How do we get to hell? <laughs> well, you have to take the Soul Train, naturally. Your final stop depends on what's in your permanent record, but uh, if you two are trying to get to hell, that uh, really shouldn't be a problem. Let us on the train. We want to take the next train out of here. Nobody gets on board the Soul Train without a token. How do we get one of those? You automatically get one when you die at your appointed time. Well, cheer up, fellas. You'll be dead soon enough. See you. See you later, Harry. Maybe sooner than you think. We were dead, like, two episodes ago. We had souls. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Get the ladder out of here. How'd we end up on our own street? You mean we've been living over the gateway to hell all this time and <laughs> never took advantage of it? Our condo association is going to be receiving a very stern letter about this. What? The? Hey, there's Mama Bosco. Mrs. Mama Bosco? That's Ms. Mama Bosco. You think just because I'm dead you don't have to respect my independence? <laughs> How'd you get to be a ghost? I don't know. I was sitting in my apartment when all of a sudden there was this explosion. I don't remember hearing or causing an explosion. <laughs> it was a great big geyser of vinegar and baking soda. Oh. <laughs> Our condolences. Sorry for your loss. Any final arrangements you want us to take care of? Oh, I ain't going anywhere yet. Even if I could get to the afterlife, I can't rest until I find the man who trashed my store. But that was over 40 years ago. Wow, she really holds a grudge. I'm glad I broke up with her. <laughs> I spent the last 40 years thinking up new ways to make his life a living hell. But then she says things like that, which makes me love her even more. Describe the vandal. This guy who trashed your store, what did he look like? I never got a good look at his face. 
which is why I hired that P.I. to track him down. <laughs> but I remember he was about six feet tall. Like Bosco? Yeah. And he had big, bulbous forearms. Kind of like Bosco's forearms. Right. And he was kind of balding, with skin that wasn't quite purple, but sort of... Bosco colored? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> Have you two seen the guy? Well, we haven't seen anyone who fits that description, man. <laughs> seen Bosco lately? Have you seen Bosco lately? Not as much as a mother likes, no. I'm always upstairs plotting my revenge, and he's always busy working on his inventions, losing track of time. That's why I send him an alarm clock every Christmas. <laughs> well, you'll get to see more of him now that you're both dead. Let's not bother the poor woman any more than we already have, Max. Didn't you meet Death? Wasn't somebody there to guide you to the afterlife? There was some little man who kept going on about a token and some train, but the second explosion scared him off. Now the stairs are destroyed, and I can't get up there to get that token. Where's your token? Did you get a token for the afterlife? I told you, it's still up in my apartment. Oh, uh, okay. Where's your apartment? Wait a second, where is your apartment exactly? On the second floor above the store, fool. Where else would I live? How do we get there? How do we get to your apartment? <laughs> Hell if I know. Some fool blew up the stairs. I didn't even know the store had a second floor to it. <laughs> Don't go into the light. Oh, I ain't going into any light until I find out who's responsible for this. Did we cause that volcano? That big explosion? <laughs> bam, bam. Hey, cops. Hiya, cops. Hello, and welcome to Pimp, Pimp the Car. <laughs> Buster Blaster still broken. Is it my imagination, or is Bluster Blaster acting weirder than normal? He suffered severe injuries while testing an experimental wireless antenna. <laughs> you guys, you guys, I'm in so much pain right now. <laughs> we have been using laughing gas to keep him sedated. It's a different kind of broken. So long, cops. Stay virtuous! I'm in so much pain right now. Alright, so we got, uh... So now we have all three places. Bosco's, Sybil's, and Stinky's Diner. Oh, <laughs> whoa! Looks like the rat seedy giant robot carcass casino is finally getting a light show. Not casino, family entertainment complex. Get it right. Well, well, Jimmy Two Teeth. We haven't seen much of you lately. Yeah? Well, I got an image to maintain. Can't be seen with you, lowlifes. You know, that's a lot of attitude for somebody we first met crawling up our toilet. I gone legit. I'm building a child friendly resort destination here. Is the Mametron coming back to life? Nah, he's brain dead. We're turning him into a fantastic laser light show. You know, for the kids. Families go ape over that kind of crap. <laughs> we should take public transportation more often, Max. Somehow, we always get a train to ourselves. Hmm. Anything going on in here? In our office? We haven't been in our office in a while. Oh. Ah, oh, shoot. There's a giant time-traveling <laughs> elevator blocking the door. <laughs> ah, that's good. Hey, up there! Unblock our door! Screw you! <laughs> okay. Mysterious heat wave grips city. Ooh. If this keeps up, I'll have to strip down to my beach costume. President still missing. Nation panicked. The nation panics when I go missing. They panic when I make presidential addresses. I wish they'd make up their minds already. <laughs> All right, now let's go into Bosco's. Hiya, Flint. What's shaking? Can't talk, fellas. I'm still waiting for Bosco to get back. Oh, we already found Bosco. Yeah, his corpse is already decaying down in the sewer. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute, little pals. But I got a 40-year-old case to wrap up here. How's the search going, Flint? <laughs> Still no sign of Bosco, fellas. I'll let you know as soon as he shows up. I don't think Flint's taking us seriously, Max. If I were as cool as him, I wouldn't take us seriously either. Can we not... Whee! Can we not go in? How's the search going, Flint? Still no sign. I don't think flinched. If I were. All right. Almost makes me want to start a fire. 
Okay, let's check out Sybil. Can we drive our car to hell? Now we gotta go through the river sticks. <laughs> oh, Sam and Max, you're here! I've been dying to tell you. You'll never guess what Abe did during our date last night. We stopped speculating about that months ago. It was making me <laughs> lose my appetite. Sam, shut it! Girlfriend! Dish! He actually got down on one jowl and asked me to marry him! Congrats, I guess. I've got so much planning to do. I'd be a wreck if I didn't have the monster to help. Oh, it's no bother. Oh, he's sad. <laughs> How you doing, Gruesome? What have you been doing since you confessed your love for Sybil and she turned you down? <laughs> Mostly just replaying that moment in my mind, over and over again. Hey, monster, which color do you think Abe would look best in? <sighs> Maroon. Poor guy. <laughs> Snooty overpriced wedding invitations. I still haven't gotten my invitation. Strange, since the wedding's only hours away. Lost in the mail, I'm sure. <laughs> Cake at a wedding? Okay. <laughs> Look at all the food on the menus, Max. Hey, she misspelled appetizer. Stop saying things out of character. <laughs> appetizer. Hey, Sybil. Hiya, Sybil. I don't have much time to chat, Sam. I've got so much to plan. Let me get some light. Too much light! Yeah, it's good. What are you planning? What's the wedding gonna be like? Is it a shotgun wedding? Max! What a thing to ask. Oh wait, he doesn't know what that means, does he? Just let him enjoy his fantasy version for a while. <laughs> Why is the monster here? Did we accidentally leave our monster in here? Ugh, we're gonna have to get a leash. Back in the trunk, gruesome! Don't you dare take him away. I've been spilling all the details of my whirlwind romance with Abe. It's just like talking with my girlfriends. Why am I made to suffer so? Doesn't he have Abe Lincoln's brain? <laughs> this is crazy. Could we be in the wedding? Is there room in the wedding party for Max and me? As president of the U.S. and high priest of the ocean chimps, I'm qualified both legally and spiritually to conduct the ceremony. <laughs> hmm, how to put this tactfully? They'll be serving ice cream in hell before I let that happen. I mean, we're pretty close to hell, we can check. Can we give you anything for the wedding? We kept one of the zombie's arms that fell off. It's old and kind of blue now. You want to borrow it? <laughs> That's a lovely offer, but no thanks. Good luck, Sybil. <laughs> oh, Max. You just run, ar run around. So that's what's going on with s Oh! The fox had a wedding, like, dowel. Gowl? I don't know the right word. <laughs> hmm, they're closed. Oh. Oh yeah, Grandpa Stinky's dead. So we can't go. To, we can't go into Bosco's or Stinky's. What do we have in inventory? Feather, we laid an egg. Don't ask me how. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From episode four. <laughs> we toss an egg up there. Hey. <laughs> hey, buddy. Throw us that remote control, would you? You're gonna need this. We see the other side of it. Thanks, buddy. Be you later. That's great. And what is this for? The boxing Betty. Hmm. The remote won't do much good while he's dead. Where do we have boxing Betty? Seems like a waste to take the car anywhere when there's public transit downstairs. I guess we'll go back down. Surely there's a boxing. He just went face first on the ladder. There's gotta be a boxing Betty down here. Our past selves are probably gonna be in the office this whole case. And look at him, leaving every light in the place turned on. Hey, some of us have to pay electric bills, you know! <laughs> Kinda creepy how Bosco's been keeping his mama cooped up in that apartment all this time. You know, a boy's best friend is his mother. Weird. It's getting dark. Are we out past your bedtime, little buddy? We'll sleep when we're dead! I didn't get any shut-eye when we died before. <laughs> then we'll nap when we're dead! <laughs> we just won't overdo it, or we'll get all headachy. <laughs> Let's go, Max. 
Then we'll nap. Just don't overdo it. <laughs> oh, a crack. Whew, it's getting hot down there. Yeah, let's pour a... Ah. Uh, melt the tar cake sample. That's one of the few things that's not better with tar. We gotta put something down there. I miss the Mametron 9000. We had some good times. Oh, we have an AI we can put in him. Duh. What's that? It's all neat and computery. It's got to help out with your laser light show. Thanks, Sam and Max. This'll be perfect. At first, I was afraid. I was petrified. Yeah. That ain't right. What did you guys do? Reconfiguring neural network, dumbass. Dumbass. <laughs> so, you're back from outer space. Evacuate! Evacuate! <laughs> did you think I crumbled? Ah! Oh shit. <laughs> Did you think I'd lay down and die? Oh no, not I. I will survive. I will survive. Tiny Timmy. No. <laughs> so cold. So f cold. Medic. Hello. For emergency medical service, press or say one now. Just save my boy. Hang on, Timmy. <laughs> Live, damn it. Live. Well, if that doesn't help us get into hell, nothing will. <laughs> hey, Mametron hey, robot. Greetings, morons. What's with the attitude? What's with the attitude? The artificial intelligence unit you installed is refreshingly blunt, jackass. My tax subroutines have been disabled. I don't care what I say anymore. This is my life. <laughs> What have you got planned? Now that you're mostly rat-free, what's next for you, Mr. Mametron? I am planning to relocate. Not that it is any of your business. Are you gonna make a move to a town that's right for you? Affirmative. A town to keep me moving. To keep me grooving with some energy. You wanna do us a favor? I can't go for that. No can do. With my new AI, I can only be controlled remotely. Hmm. We'll talk to you later. You can call me. Call me anytime. Can you be controlled with this? Ooh, let me! Let me! There'll be snow flurries in hell before I let you have control of a two-story tall battle robot, Max. Here I go again, <laughs> on my own. There'll be ice cream in hell. <laughs> Get that token out of there! Gonna take a midnight train. Woo -woo. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Got a token to hail, let's go. Or we could give it that. <laughs> I don't think she'd appreciate a ride on the soul train as much as we would. True, we gotta go. <laughs> gotta go to hail. Gotta get Bosco's soul back. you guys hurry it up? I've heard about a robot full of seriously injured rats, and I've got a quota to fill. Hold <laughs> your pale horses. We're working on it. All right. We have a token. Death. <laughs> one adult and one max, please. How did you guys get a token? We've done things, Harry. Things we're not proud of. Wicked things. <laughs> Shut up, Max. Er, zombie Abraham Lincoln didn't want his. Oh, good! Put your token in the machine to call the train. It's good we can share this one token. Everybody get on board, because we about to take a ride on the Soul Train. Uh oh Next stop, we going straight to hell, baby. What's new, Beelzebub? <laughs> Sharpshooter. <laughs> yeah. Jorgen. Uh, one moment. This is hell. Danke for holding. No. Hell. You, 
What number were you trying to reach? No, we are 666. Yeah, no, no problem. Happens all the time. See you soon. Can I help you? We want to talk to the guy in charge. He's taken Bosco's soul too early. I see. Well, his schedule is full at the moment, but I'll see what I can do. And you are... Uh, Sam and Max. Sam and Max. Sam and Max. Hmm. Oh, yes. The ones who sent me here. Or oh, I'll get right on that. Jürgen, be a peach and clear out my calendar for... Oh, dear. Who authorized this? A giant horned skull? Really? I'm sorry, I thought it was 2008. Oh, very well. Cancel all my appointments, would you? I'll be in my office. I like that fire oh, effect. <laughs> did I forget to introduce you? How careless of me. You can have a seat and wait if you like. Hmm. It's the hell lobby. <laughs> I really shouldn't. I'm watching my weight. Don't worry. They're all nearsighted. <laughs> I like that fire effect on the logo. Whee! Hell, LLC. Limited liability was a good choice. I don't want to think about these guys' legal fees. The contract negotiations alone must be a nightmare. You make it through the voicemail and you still don't get to talk to a human being. <laughs> to do, have nipple rings rotated. Better get on that, Jorgen. Get that key ring <laughs> rotated. <laughs> Alright. Stuttgart Nightlife. Figures the reading material in hell would be two months old. I wonder if that thing folds out into a bed of spikes. Probably. <laughs> hey, Jurgen. This is hell. Hold, please. Yes? Is this really hell? This isn't at all what I expected from hell. It's, uh, soulless. Yeah, which is kind of missing the whole point of hell. <laughs> but the corporate presence has done wonders for our productivity. My soul-taking operation, which you destroyed. The soul-crushing and delivery system, which you destroyed. Hell is now running at peak efficiency. Or at least it was. Where's the hell stuff? <laughs> Where's all the cool hell stuff? Yeah, like the carnivorous beetle pits and acid baths and karaoke bars. Please, this is so divinely comical. This is the 21st century, dog. Where are all the demons? Where are all the demons? Yeah, they either have desk jobs or they're working inside their personal hells in disguise. Hmm. Can we get a tour? Can we get a tour of the place? You'll have to guide yourselves. I have to answer the phones. For eternity! Don't we need a visitor's badge or something? No. As frequent contributors, you can go where you <laughs> like. Just look, though. Don't touch anything. Frequent contributors to hell? <laughs> we want to talk to Satan. We want to talk to Satan. Yes. Well, I fear you just missed him. Much like you just missed saving me when you had the chance. Well, yeah, but you know, you are kind of evil. And you killed us! No matter. I will mention you are waiting next time the boss visits. He drops by every 66 years or so. When do we get to see him? When do we get to see Satan? Mm, he's a very hands-off manager. He never visits the office unless there is a problem. Hmm. Hold all our calls. Mm, yes. This is so funny to the point that I cannot remember to laugh. Can we, uh, can we go in? We can just go in. Hey, shambling corporate presence. Hey, shambling corporate presence. Hey, buddy Blurr. old pal. What you working on? Blur. Hmm, it's slackers like him that give hell a bad name. He's playing Minesweeper. Whee! Poster. Wrath. Oh yeah, there's posters for all the seven deadly sins. <laughs> Greed. Lust. Lust. The train in the tunnel. <laughs> Reminds me of that great mamas and papas head. Monday, 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 Monday. In hell, every day is Monday. <laughs> what is that? Sloth. 
that image. <gasps> it's one minute to closing. Forever. Forever. <laughs> oh, hell. Hey, buddy. Look, it's Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Fine, don't say hi. Nice trick with your head. Nice man. trick with your head. Do exorcisms work on people already in hell? You busy? We're going for lunch. Wanna come? Did you get that meeting request I sent? What are your dreams? What do you do here? What do you do here? I work for the largest division of hell! The FCC! Doing what? I bleep! Right here in your cubicle? In front of Satan and everyone? <laughs> What do you mean by that? You bleep? I listen for naughty words, and I bleep them! No swearing, no cursing, and no oaths of any kind. That takes the fun out of everything. Exactly! Hey, sorry about killing you last year. It happens. <laughs> uh, can we say... Nope. What about... Nope. What about... Tugger? Yanker? Tool handler? Hmm, okay, all right. well, good to know. <laughs> what about that time Jimmy Hoffa said, ride the buckin surfboard? <laughs> oh yeah, you should have bleeped the out of that. Buckin is not on the list, sorry. It really sounded like it though. <laughs> Later, Hugh Bliss. I remember that, it sounded like it. Hey, Brady Culture. Brady Culture, you're dead? I didn't even know he was sick. How do I not get an obituary? I'm a major television star, an international buzz generator. A cosmic pain in my backside. How'd you get here? How'd your fro oh. grow back so fast? Elf tears. Okay, how'd you get here? What are you doing in hell? Live in large. I'd been a temp in purgatory for the last year and a half, but finally, I'm a full-time employee. Right, we don't actually care. We're famous TV stars. <laughs> Sticks and stones. I don't care what anyone says. I'm in hell, and I'm happy. You like hell? Forgive me, my mouth is too parched for a spit take, but... You like hell? What? <laughs> I mean, sure, the wailing of millions of tortured souls gets a little old, and my headphones are ten sizes too small. But none of that matters, because I finally found someone who believes in me. Satan. He is the only true equal opportunity employer. <laughs> Satan believes in you're you. You're telling me Satan thinks you're actually good for something? That's right. I'm finally somebody. Too bad you had to die to become somebody. <laughs> the ironic reversals were so thick, you could cut them with a knife. How's the evil laugh? Does your on-the-job training include evil laughsmanship? <laughs> I guess that's a no. <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> it's another thing you can make him do. Later, Brady. <laughs> uh, old season one pals, you know. <laughs> There's just a pit of lava, just in the in the <laughs> in the office in hell. What a view, though. Look at that. That's a sick view. <laughs> ah, the old water cooler. Well, well, Mr. Spatula. It finally all makes sense. Coming back from hell as a ghost, manipulating <laughs> the gullible ocean chimps, making the volcano explode to summon the mariachis. It was all part of your evil plan. It wasn't part of your evil plan? Well, that wasn't too bad, if you were making it up as you went along. I hope that was an evil laugh. <laughs> Things have gotten so bad, they had to cut minimum wage in half. Three dollars a month. Let's look around for hell swag. Swag! All right, three dollars a month. It's a good pay. It's a good paycheck. <laughs> Your mama don't work here. Hey, we needed her token. <laughs> it has three settings. Bake, popcorn, and cremate. The only place here that's room temperature. <laughs> Refrigerator. I guess the kitten was off on another photo shoot. 
sexual harassment and you. Uh oh, I've touched all those places several times. Proceed with caution. <laughs> carbonite. Nothing inspires investors like a few dead smugglers frozen in carbonite. Ask anyone. Ah, they went for the swivel throne. Good choice. Hmm. Ba -da 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 -da. What? Ah, what kind of hellish bass relief is this? Uh, I don't know. And yet, a mysterious voice compels me to enter. That's a cool, like, door design. I like that. Get Superball on that. <laughs> Have Superball guard this door when he dies. Nah, he's going to heaven. <laughs> I'm impressed by the decor, but what kind of place is this? Must be the kids' play area. They've got little play sets of all our pals. Hey, Bosco! Hang on, I know what this is. This is where they keep all the souls of people who died during our cases. They opened it already? But I had a speech prepared and everything! We have our own room, Max. <laughs> Sam the Devourer. Very flattering likeness. Max the Destroyer. Oh, they got my bad side! I want a do-over! You have to get your good side, top. <laughs> Looks like everybody's permanent record's on file, but they're all locked. Dedicated to Sam and Max for a lifetime of generous donations of souls, both evil and simply led astray. <laughs> Ooh, the efficiency meter. Still running at peak efficiency. In hell, misery is job one. So we probably have to bring that down to red to get Satan to come here. Card reader. Looks like some fancy key card reader. We don't have one. Hi, little Bosco. We see you in there. Oh, dear God, they're watching me. Help me! Was it something we said? Oh, no. It's Santa. Shut up! I'll never get any work done with that infernal cry! That looks like our car. What did it do to deserve <laughs> hell? I guess these days you just have to be an accomplice. <laughs> yep. It's one of Santa's elves. Oh dear, I'll never make my ship date with all these distractions. Is that Grandpa Stinky? <laughs> More looky loos come to see the big show, have ye? Okay, how do we get a card to get in there? Let's go back and harass cubicle dwellers. I love that. Okay, we can probably do something with Hugh Bliss. Nope. Later, Hugh Bliss. Hey, there's the list. It's a list of swear words. And... All the swear words. <laughs> Some word magnets, haphazardly arranged. Work or the Dark Lord will eat your soul. Hmm, I would have gone with Work or the Dark Lord will eat your donut. Maybe while we're here, we could pick up some demonically possessed office supplies. Okay. You don't have to be damned to work here, but it helps. Hmm, it looks cold. I can't even get a hot cup of coffee in hell! <laughs> okay, we took that. What's a uh, coffee pot? Okay, who forgot to fill the pot? That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Let's uh, let's reheat the coffee. The microwave doesn't have a setting for tentacle monster coffee. The coffee's cold enough as it is. It's cold and we can't microwave it. Hey Max. Hey Max. Yo. This place is convenient. If hell's always been this nearby, I wonder why we've never visited before. It's definitely not from lack of invitations. All things considered, this place isn't so bad. Your own cubicle, full benefits. Hell, throw in some stock options and I'd worship Satan. Huh? No, no, worship me! <laughs> worship me! Oh man, these former TV stars will not let go of their catchphrases. <laughs> you crack me up, little buddy. Ah, he said the thing. He said the thing. <laughs> His catchphrase. Did you hear the latest? Did you hear that Stalin over in accounting got demoted last week? I heard he was dipping his slide rule in the company bread basket to try and shimmy his way to the middle, if you know what I'm saying. 
Actually, I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> See you in hell, Max. We just got a coffee cup, and we can't even heat it up. Funny the real estate lady never mentioned our office had convenient subway access to hell. <laughs> I don't like it. As soon as you open public transportation to the netherworld, the undesirables start moving in. Oh, that's a, that's a racism. Harry Mullman isn't at all how I pictured the personification of death. But now people will be encouraged to stay alive so they can avoid talking to him. <laughs> Mind the gap, Max. I don't have to! The gap's not my real father! I'm surprised this remaster left that in. <laughs> Undesirables. Let's check on these guys. What's going on here, cops? We have set up an emergency triage station to care for the rats injured in the recent robot attack. I need 20 milligrams of monosodium glutamate stat. How come there's only one rat here? We're not very good at medicine, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's really pretty sad. The rest of them died. <laughs> Got any car upgrades? What car upgrades are you offering this time? Turn your vehicle into a super fast nitro burning funny car! For a limited time only. Offer and Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh yeah! I can take that mother out of the street away, push her to the red line till she screams, pop the clutch, kick you the afterburners, and smoke them pigs as I sail over the county line! Woo! You can't see over the wheel, Max. Fascist. <laughs> the hell was that? We want to upgrade our car. We want that nitrous upgrade for our car. I want to go fast enough to blow the stink off of Sam! We're sorry, but your vehicle has gone on Oh yeah, our vehicle place. died. We are sorry for your loss. Can't you fix it? We're afraid the car is completely dead. Repairing it is beyond our current skill level. <laughs> it still had so much to live for. Ah, uh, rest in peace, DeSoto. <laughs> Got any cool driving games? Have you been working on any new cool augmented reality games? We're sorry, we've been too busy tending to the injured and infirm. <laughs> Even my coin slide hurts. Check back with us later. All right. So long, cops. Stay virtuous. Can we? Oh, no. I'm I... not even sure what we're doing here. Shouldn't we be in hell or something? Okay, I guess we have to go back, but I want to talk to Hi, Jimmy. these guys. How's the kid? The doctor says that a fall from a great height is the worst possible thing for somebody with terminal Tourette's. We are doing all that we can. I'll give you everything I got, Doc. I've done a lot of bad stuff in my life, but Timmy's an innocent. <laughs> How are you holding up, Timmy? Is that an angel? <laughs> he ain't got much time left. He's starting to hallucinate. And the Tourette's is getting worse. What's that, St. Peter? Why, yes, I'd f love to play f with you. <laughs> oh, f <laughs> He's losing it. Where do you get nitrous? Where are you guys getting enough nitrous to do car upgrades? Bluster Blaster was given laughing gas to ease his suffering after his recent injury. Oh, yeah. Wait, you've been selling the leftovers from his prescription? And these guys are the only ones not going to hell. <laughs> oh, the irony. If the DeSoto can go to hell, why not? <laughs> Come on, man. So long, cops. Stay virtuous. Where does this game draw the line of who and who can and who cannot go to hell? <laughs> Come on, man. So this is a dead car. I can't believe the DeSoto died <laughs> while we were away. It's right there. There's so much I never got the chance to say. How is it dead? It's just sitting there. <laughs> okay. Woo. Go down face first. Yeah! <laughs> all these people ended up in hell because of us? Seeing them all on display like this is so much more impressive than just a list of names on my resume. It's pretty cool. Satan runs this place like a well-oiled machine. Do torture machines need to be oiled? If you want them to last over a hundred thousand miles, they do. <laughs> We've got to find a way to get all of our pals out of hell. <laughs> Compared to the kind of torment we can put them through, this place is amateur class. <laughs> See you in hell. You know where to find me. All right, we're good. See you in the next part. <laughs> like I'm just in a, <laughs> like I'm just in a hurry.
to get this over with. Now I'm good. Well, I'll figure out what to do in the next part. See you later.